what happened to you? I just don't understand. I'm on WWE.com right now. And I'm talking about the ratings crisis again. What happened to WWE? Like, I, I just don't understand. I haven't watched Raw yet. But I know little bits and pieces of it. Like, it ends with AJ Styles. He turned heel. And he joined the club. Like, I knew he was going to do that. I mean, if somebody would have told me this years ago, I wouldn't have even thought that they were talking about the same company. I mean, yeah. It was bad. You know, when I was a little kid, it was bad. Well, not a little kid, but I was a teenager. And I admit, it was bad, but it wasn't this bad. Because when when uh, Austin left, it had started going down. He left in the summer of 2002. I think Austin left first, and then Rock left. And then it started getting really bad. And I admit it was it was going down. I admit that. I mean, it had Tory Wilson's dad having a kayfabe heart attack and things like that. Um, it had John Cena doing these goofy raps. It was it was going down. It was pretty bad. I admit that. But you could always count on Raw to end on a high note, even in the early stages of the PG era. Like, I remember one time Vince was talking in June of 2010. And then, for no reason at all, these guys from NXT just came and beat the shit out of Vince. For no reason. That was like a cool note, a high note. But these days, it's, it's, I don't know of any other word to describe it. I don't want to say the word bad too many times. So I guess I'll use a different word. Awful. Terrible. Listen, I know it can't be easy managing a company like this. The pressure must be unbearable, must be unbelievable. But again, I have to say, I just never thought it would ever get this bad. I didn't. I mean, with Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff there, you would have thought that we were going to see some cool stuff. But the little snippets I did see, it like it looked corny because I'm going to be honest with you. I unsubscribed cable. I don't have it anymore. So I just catch little snippets of it. When they post it on WWE's YouTube channel, or I catch a little bit of it on Hulu. Hulu gives you a, an hour and a half of it. And what they do is they basically take the best parts of the show and put it together. Or what they consider to be the best parts of the show. I knew that this, you know, I just knew it wasn't a good idea. 
The minute I found out about Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins going out with each other, I knew it. I was like, oh shit, they're going to do an angle with them. The minute Michael Cole acknowledged it publicly, I knew they were going to do an angle with Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. And I knew that was a bad idea. The minute Lacey Evans kept trying to sabotage um, Seth Rollins' match with Baron Corbin, I knew they were working on an angle with Seth and Becky. And then, sure enough, she came out. Whoa! Whoa! And I'm like, really? I knew they were going to do that. I can't really criticize Vince because I don't know how to run a company. So I can't really tell him what he should or shouldn't do. The only thing I can do is make suggestions as a fan. And my suggestion is get rid of the PG era. Get rid of it. And bring it back to ruthless aggression. Or you could do a slogan that says, WWE, we've got a new attitude. Get it? You know, a new attitude, a new attitude era. Do something, but get rid of the PG era. You're going to have to get rid of that. Point blank, period. I just knew it, man. I knew once they brought Becky Lynch out there publicly like that, they're going to make an angle out of this shit. I, I saw it coming. Oh, man. All I can do is wish WWE the best because I've been a fan since 1999. Like I told you guys on the first part of my video, I've been a fan of WWE since 99. And I can't believe that fans are actually comparing 1999 to now. You can't compare 1999 to now. Like, so many things factor in to let you know that you're not going to get the same results that you got in 1999. First of all, in 1999, let's look at this logically. The internet was still in its infancy back in 1999. People didn't have smartphones back in 1999. People watched TV more than they do now back in, you know, 1999. There was no streaming in 1999. You couldn't DVR something in 1999. You could record it. I admit that. You could tape it. You could do that. But back then, people watched TV more than they do now. I knew this was going to be a problem. I knew it. I told you guys when I made that video back in 2013 called TV Sucks, I knew this was going to be a problem. Because I told you, as the years go on, people are going to stop watching TV. They're just not as interested in TV anymore. I knew it was going to be a problem. I am. I love TV. But I'm just one person. I can't speak for everybody else. 
Everybody's on their smartphones now. People stream things now. So you can't compare now to 20 years ago. It's just not a fair or accurate comparison. You can't compare 1999 to now. I used to do the same thing until I realized it was a completely different time back then. It's just, it just wasn't the same. I know you guys want the Attitude Era back, so do I, but it's not coming back. And whining and complaining about it is not going to help us. But I'll say this. They better do something. Because I'm telling you, AEW is on their ass. So I don't know what they're going to do, but do something. I remember when Raw used to run over, because it's supposed to go off at 11.05, but, it, you know, um, a lot of times it would run over, like 11.10, 11.15. I even saw it run over, like, 11.20 one time when they let The Rock talk, when he returned in 2011. But that shit don't happen now. They hurry up and get it off the air. Oh, look, just let it get off the air. Hurry up. Is the match over yet? Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. He won. Shit, hurry up and get off the air. Put a rerun of uh, Modern Life or whatever you call that show with Ed O'Neill. Just get this off the air. Hurry up. That's what USA Network is thinking. But anyway, guys, I don't know. I, I really wish Vince the best because I'm a huge fan. Um, like I said, I haven't seen Raw yet. I'm going to probably watch it on Hulu when it gets released this morning. Um, but like I said, we got to stop comparing the Attitude Era to now because it was a completely different time and that's just not a fair comparison. What The one thing I am, if not anything else on this channel, is fair. And that's not a fair comparison. It was a completely different time. So that's, you know, we can't do that anymore. All right, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching my video. I approve this message.